Hiya guys, Spectre here. Um, just something that's been rolling around in my head for quite a while. I posted something about it on Discord the other day. Um, this was more for like if I ever said to me like an MMO. But rather than that, the MMO that captured me when it came out, I got the game two months after release, was World of Warcraft. I think it's fair to say a lot of people played it when at its peak had like 12 million subscriptions. So it's just how I can probably put some of those ideas to maybe improve modern day WoW. Some people might disagree with me, some people probably will agree with me. Because when your playbase goes from 12 million to 1.5 million, clearly something's not right. Otherwise your playbase would still be massive. But Blizzard fucked the game, here are some ways they can unfuck it and increase that player base. More people playing the game is always going to be better. It's a massive multiplayer online. Not a small multiplayer online. So one, no fucking add-ons. Get rid of every goddamn add-on in the fucking game and make it so no add-ons can be made for the future. The, a AAA game shouldn't need add-ons to make the game workable. And I don't care for a lot of these devs playing high-end Mythic Raiding guilds. Mythic Raiding shouldn't have been created in the first place. Get it the fuck out of there. It's an MMO, not an eSport. We'll go through the points. So expansions, this is a bit more of a hot take, included as part of the monthly subscription. You're already paying £15 a month or $15 a month. Why are you paying for the expansions? Well, we're paying twice for the game. Include them as part of the subscription. If the subscription needs to go up slightly, that's fine. But why are we then paying a premium price for an expansion when we're already paying a subscription? One or the other. Make a choice. Especially if it goes on Game Pass. Once you reach level cap, you should never have to level again. Quests give gold items and unlock the story and new areas as you go. So, if the level cap says reduced to 60, we stay at 60 for the rest of the game, life of the game. There's no more reason to level. If you want to go and level more characters, they can make the game super alt friendly, which I know they've improved lately. But there's no reason to level beyond the level cap. It doesn't make sense, because that's where they also keep adding in new abilities, new passives, and the game's just got that much shit in it. it just It's confusing to even some of the more veteran players. I've played well since vanilla. I quit halfway through WOD. I came back halfway through BFA. And then I quit halfway through Shadowlands. And I've not been back since. Just simplify the game. Massively. It will appeal to more people. And if a company's all about the bottom line and making money, that's a good way to do it to draw in more people. Um, fewer abilities, like 9 per class. Uh, in total. Then all classes have some synergy where they have the same number of abilities, but they're all meaningful. No duplicate abilities. I've got MMO mouse here. And it's got 12 buttons. So if this is a mouse designed for a massive multiplayer online, why should we need any more than 12? But I think less than 12 would be better. I think single digits is a good place to be at. You shouldn't need more than that. Just make the abilities matter. Make them mean something. And then if need be, add like an ARPG approach into it. Add passives off of those abilities. So those abilities can have branches coming off them where you can make the ability better in a certain way. Maybe it's better at single target, better at AOE, maybe it becomes a dot. Maybe it gains more crit chance, I don't know. You know, go wild with it. But that's something they could do instead of giving us ability after ability after ability. When I see a druid class that's got 30 fucking possibilities, it's like, how many fucking fingers have I got? How many? It's ridiculous. And I don't play druid, by the way. For that reason. This one. Make gear always matter. I know this one a lot of people have wanted. So the level cap is 60. And you no longer have to level. The devs just create more level 60 gear for the future tiers with similar stats. So basically, if you have, say, like we used to have, like, um, Might from uh, Ragnaros and Molten Core, and then you had Wrath from Blackwing's Layer on next year, and technically you'd get a bit of Wrath from Raggy himself, because I think he dropped legs. Um, you can have other level 60 gear 
maybe some slightly better stats on it in there he improves ups and downs maybe had more elf on some more strength on others but then the passives on them the passives are just what changes and just do that every single tier makes it simple for the devs as well and clearly the devs have trouble you know balancing shit anyway so this way they're just adding in more level 60 loot but then if they do that across all the raids including previous ones all of them matter they all become relevant again you go some of the old expansion areas now, there's not a soul in fucking sight. They're just, it's void. Make it matter. You've made all this content and it lasts for a year and a half, two years, and then it's gone. And then you're on to the next area. People could go back and do their old favourite rage. You have people all over the place. You can have a massive influx of millions of players. If that's not appealing to a company, then God help them. Because I sure as all can't. Um, And again, look at, look at how many expansions there are. That's up to date so far. All the raids in those expansions. And I know some of you guys out there will have had favourite raids. Imagine if they're all scaled to 60 and all the gear in them becomes relevant to current content and you can go back and do the old stuff as well after you've done the new stuff. You've then just always got stuff you can do. I remember when Burning Crusade came out and there was like, I think, four or five raids available at the start you couldn't do them all because you needed some better gear to get into some of the ones but they were all there they weren't just one raid it's like wow okay and it weren't geared towards like stupid difficulties like heroic and mythic just get rid of them and yes i've done heroic raiding i've tried mythic but women are my thing three raids per tier instead of one i could do one small raid three to five bosses one medium sized raid six to ten one big raid 11 to 19 just as an example these numbers obviously can be switched around and altered as whatever they want but it's just an example so rather than giving us just one raid give us three you know give us some more bleeding content um have one super server per region now i'm not a hardware genius so i don't know about this but i'm not being funny we can just send robots to fucking mars and you're telling me we can't build a server that can handle hundreds of thousands to millions of people so just like have one, one, say you've got a European server, you've got an American server, you've got, I don't know, an African server, whatever you've got, wherever the fuck the servers are. But basically you have one server per region, every single player on it. So everybody's on that one server. There's none of this, you know, high and low server crap. Every player's on one server. Make it more inclusive. There's got to be a way to do it. Uh, surely at this point in time, it can't be impossible. I, I, I just don't believe it. I think it's either down to... It'd cost too much money, in which case companies are being cheap when they're worth billions, some cases trillions. Or they just don't want to have the time to do it when it would vastly improve the game. Not just for us, but for them as well. Imagine having just one server to manage instead of fucking 50. All raids back to 40, man. Now... I'm back from vanilla, and that's the technically the only expansion where there were 40 man raids. But even if you have like a small raid of three to five bosses, make them 40 man. All right, it's harder to get that people online, but if you've got 12 plus million people playing the game, finding 40 people is actually really easy. Really, really easy. If it's small like it is now, 1.5 million, then it's a lot harder. Because it's 1.5 million people spread across the entire planet on their separate servers so you probably won't have that many on some servers if you've got one big super server per region i doubt they could do one global server but if they could that'd be even better but then you could easily have 40 man raids again the game's supposed to be inclusive it's not supposed to be elitist and you know alienating people that's not what it's supposed to be it's an mmo massive multiplayer it's right there in the fucking name and also in case um It'll broaden the attraction, and if it goes on Game Pass, and maybe at some point even goes to console, there are people who couldn't even previously play the game. Imagine what that could do for the game. And you'll also then have to simplify it and get rid of add-ons. Um, get rid of all raid difficulties. This is an MMO, it's not an eSport. Although I do watch Raid to World first, I think Mythic raiding like that is bad for the game. 
and the devs have got to go in and nerf the boss all the goddamn time. If you just have one difficulty, devs don't have to nerf the boss at all, ever. Don't nerf any boss. If there's bugs, fix the bugs. If the bosses are like physically broken, but don't nerf the boss. The bosses are as hard D1 as they are 350 D1 sort of thing. For the 350th day of the read. You know, they're always the same difficulty. They never get weaker. Keep them at the same strength. And you're also catering to the top 2% of the playbase of the Mythic Raid. What about the other 98% that'll bring you in far more money than those 2%? I'm not being funny. If that was my game and I was developing it, I wouldn't give a toss about the 2%. 98% is going to bring in way more money, keep your game relevant for longer, lasting longer. Why on earth would you cater to such a small percentage of people? It makes no sense. Now at the moment, there might be a lot of the people still playing the game, because the game's become very elitist. That's an issue. And if they want this game to succeed and start take off again, this is something they have to change fundamentally. Otherwise their game's never going to be at the heights it was previously at. Now, it might never get back to 12 million, I don't know. If it goes on Game Pass, it has a good shot. Um, but even if you can, say, get towards 9, 10 million, that's a drastic increase in your player base. And that's worth investing in. Mythic raiding isn't. Heroic raiding isn't. Just have one difficulty, like you used to back in vanilla. If some of the bosses are harder than others, that's fine. So you can kind of have like difficulty essentially throughout the raid. Some bosses might be like an easy difficulty, some might be medium, and then some might be hard. And for love of God, your penultimate boss and your ultimate boss, make them the hardest in the fucking raid. There's nothing worse than when the second to last boss flops over and it's it's easier than the like third boss into the raid. What the fuck is that? What is that? Like, fix that crap. That's, that's so stupid. Your last two bosses should always be the badass. Bring back attunements. Attunements are something some players probably wouldn't even know about. But attunements are really cool. Usually you had two or three dungeons. And you had a quest line to go in. Usually kill the last boss um, of the raid. Or find something in the last boss's room. So you had to kill him in order to get access to it. You'd collect an item. You'd bring all three together. And bring them back to an NPC. And they would then attune you to the raid. So then you gained access to it. That's something I think they should bring back as well. Because those quest lines are pretty good. And they could improve on them, make them more interesting. And even do it so like, say, there's two dungeons attached to a raid. They could do two parts of the quest where you've got to go inside a dungeon and do something with the last boss. But then they could do a third part that's out in the world somewhere. So you've got to go explore. You know, got to go and do something out there. It's like, you know, use the fucking imagination. Christ's sake. I don't get it. This is a hot take. And I used to do Gladiator Arena back in Burning Crusade and Lich King. Um, but get rid of PvP or make separate servers specifically for it. So if we do have like one big super serve per region, technically you'd have two. You'd have one for PvE, one, one for PvP. Because the PvP one wouldn't have a lot of people on it. It's just there if people want to PvP. And then on that PvP server, there wouldn't be any quests and stuff like that. It's just people want to queue for arenas, queue for rated battlegrounds, normal battlegrounds. It's all there on that server. They can all PvP together and do their own thing. And all it is is basically just like a... I suppose you can have it as like a city, essentially, but you can't leave the city. And they all just queue up and go into PvP all the time. You could even put the Horde Alliance players in the same fucking city. And just have them so they just queue up and do PvP all day. If that's what they want to do, give them that option. But your PvP base is less than 10%. At this point, it's probably less than 5 Again, you keep it to a small percentage of your player base. And let's say, for example, let's say it is 10%. I'll, I'll be fair. Of that 10% of people, probably 6% of them also do PvE. They do dungeons, they do raids. You've probably only got 3 or 4% that actually just do PvP and nothing else. Why would you gain cater to such a small percentage of people? It's not beneficial to your game. And whenever they bring out new abilities, it makes it harder for the devs who bear in mind can't balance shit anyway, that they've got to level these abilities out to cater for PvP. Because you might have classes who can proper burst and do some massive damage, and they're designed to do it for PvE, for 
your world bosses, your dungeon bosses, your raider bosses. But they can't have that level of damage on a player because they melt them. So they've got to balance it all the time. Having that PvP, PvE crossover mix is creating Blizzard a lot of issues. And it's quite evident. So then, in this particular case, we can have overpowered abilities. And they haven't got to nerf them ever. Same as they haven't got to nerf the bosses in raids and dungeons. They won't have to nerf anything. And then it'll create the devs more time to do other things. Fix things in the game. By separating the PvP and the PvE. I don't think getting rid of it is probably a good idea, but make their own separate servers. Just don't put any of the PvE stuff on that server. It's just a PvP server. That's the one to go and do. They go and do it that way instead. I think that's a better idea for it. It's <clears throat> just hot takes on that one. Maybe there are some better ways to do it. Maybe you guys have got some ideas. If you have, leave them in comments. Um, but it's just, it's a game that I've played for a long, long time. Probably my most like long played game out of all my games in my life um and i've been playing since the amiga and atari era bear that in mind and world of warcraft was the first mo that really gripped me i got addicted to the game i'm not not you know afraid to um admit it but there's so much they could do to make this game better and some of the things like getting rid of add-ons are really really simple really simple and also it brings into question how good a player actually is in pv or pvp when they've got add-ons essentially playing half their class for them telling them what to do what to watch out for how about we get rid of all the add-ons and then see how good the players actually are now obviously your gladiator players your mythic raiders are probably still going to be good players because they can do that content but are, in some cases, are some of them being carried by the add-ons? Because I think some of them probably are. Probably not all of them, but some of them probably are. Those add-ons do a hell of a lot for people. I mean, one thing that bothered me were... I think it was in the Jailer Raid. There was a uh, mechanic for one of the bosses, which was the called the Among Us mechanic. And there was a week already developed that literally trivialised that entire mechanic it told you who the person was straight away. So the devs develop a mechanic and there's a Wii core created in a fraction of the time that counters it. And what is the point in that? It wastes the developer's time and the add-on basically trivializes an entire mechanic that could have been a fun, cool thing to see the players try and work out who it was. It's like, no, just get rid of fucking add-ons. They're terrible. Um, with that said... I'll leave you guys with a clip from um, a raid where I had some fun with my people. And you might notice that I don't have as many add-ons. I do have them. But I don't have as many add-ons compared to some other people doing theirs. Oh, fucking hell, side chucks as hell, holy fuck. That was scary. Yeah, that's why it doesn't fuck about me. Beware. <laughs> One level, boys. Watch ourselves, watch our feet. Run away, little girl. Stunt. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. You don't get much time to move out of that, do you? How does that feel? Fucking like I got bitch slapped by a fucking whale's 40 inch cock. Jesus! I, I have no idea what that feels like. <laughs> not being not being Sea World, Tom. Right? Yeah, no, I didn't got the same Sea World you did. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Two, one. Not the same.